It's that time! Welcome back to a brand new NBA 2K21, my career! Today, we're gonna go ahead and continue the NBA playoffs. We're in round number two against the Philadelphia 76ers. Now, I got some big news. As you see on top of my head, yes, indeed, your boy got the 2K logo. It's about time. I'm out here looking flyer than a pelican. Let me walk around the city and show off this logo. Hey, where's everyone at? The city is a bit dry right now, but I just wanted to take my time and thank you guys because without you watching, none of this would have happened. Man, I got way too much energy right now. If you are excited for this episode, make sure you slap that thumbs up button, subscribe to the channel, and join the family. Today, we're getting ready to kick off game number two. We're still waiting on some of these matchups to go down, like the Miami Heat against Boston Celtics, and you got Lakers against the Warriors on the West. Those two matchups haven't happened yet, but the Denver Nuggets did beat the Utah Jazz in game one. And of course, we did beat the 76ers in game number one. Here is what my player looks like. I play point guard for the Chicago Bulls. You know, just for those people that forgot, I know a lot of you know already. And I'm going to also show you guys, before we jump into our next game, my animations. Because you guys constantly ask me this. And you know, I want to be able to show you guys my jump shot is 69 here is the rest of my attributes if you guys want to go ahead and copy it. I'm currently standing at a 77 overall, the road to 99. We're very close, but we're also so far, if that makes sense. We're not worried about it, though. Here is the starting lineup. You got me, Zach Levine, Otto Porter, Lori Markin, and Wendell Carter at the 5. Now, if you guys forgot, last episode, we found out that Ben Simmons is actually going to be out two to four weeks so the lord has blessed us we now have the advantage in this series let's not waste any time and jump into game number two man i hope you guys are all blessed and not stressed it's been a minute man it's been a minute since i talked to you i hope you're all doing well staying healthy having fun now i got some big news to share with you guys later on in the episode but for right now i just want to let you guys know that a new episode of the lab which is the show that I have with the Washington football team is out now on their channel. It's going to be the first link in the description. It will mean a lot. If you guys go over there, check it out. Show it some love. If I see comments from you guys, I'm going to reply to all of you. Last week's episode on the lab, we actually had Flemlo Raps. And this week, we have I Maverick. He's a gaming YouTuber. Every episode, we have new guests where I interview them. And on the show, I also, you know, talk about gaming and sports news. I also play video games. And like I said, we got, like, guests coming in every single week. I think you guys are really going to enjoy this episode. Make sure you go over there, like I said, and show your boy some love. Here we go, though. Game number two. We got to lock in. Tobias Harris, what are you doing, my boy? That shot was just goofy i'm gonna attack the cup and dunk on danny green okay we're off to a really good start here we got zach levine coming off a screen wide open he better knock it down he does so i'm talking about zach now i told you guys i have some big news i should probably share it right now so for years months decades okay i kind of sized it not decades you guys have been waiting for me to stream I think I've only done one stream in my life and we actually like pulled in like 2,000 viewers at the time. This is before I moved to Orlando. It was like, what, like eight years ago or seven years ago, I did a stream and we did so well and I enjoyed it. But ever since, I haven't done a single stream. Guess what? I got my Twitch set up. I've been working with designers. They got everything perfectly laid out for me. Everything is ready to go. We just got a few things that we have to tweak. But in about a week, your boy is about to stream for the first time. The link to my Twitch is down in the description. And I'm super excited. I feel like it's going to be a great time. I feel like you guys are really going to see a different side of me. And I want my streams to be like a hangout session, you know? I don't want it to be like me playing a specific game, me playing Madden, me playing Call of Duty all the time. I want it to be a hangout session. I want to react to videos. 
I want to watch music videos. We could watch sports highlights, play music. Of course, we're still going to play video games, but like I said, I want it to be a hangout session. I'm not sure how many times a week I'm gonna be able to stream, but for now, all that matters is just starting it, right? So like I said, in about a week, I'm gonna go live on Twitch. Make sure you guys go over there right now, follow me so you're ready to go. It's twitch.com slash onto the boss. That's all of my social media handles, at onto the boss. The link will be down in the description. And yeah, I hope you guys are just as excited as I am because I have some big things planned. Like I'm gonna get like all my boys involved in the live streams. I already talked to my girl, she's gonna be in them a lot. We're gonna do fun challenges. It's gonna be a great time. The 76ers are gonna put up a fight. You know, they're not gonna go out this easy. There's just no way. You could just tell the team is a bit defeated ever since finding out that Ben Simmons is injured. At the end of the first quarter, we're up 31 to 15. I got 18 points, four rebounds, and seven assists. I went to the bench to start the second quarter. Let's just hope and pray that Philly doesn't make a comeback. We're gonna check back in, and the score is 45 to 31. Okay, I feel like we did a good job of kinda like maintaining our lead, I like that. Embiid gets a rebound, gives it right back to Tobias Harris, who gets a second chance at that three and knocks it down. Embiid goes to Danny Green in the corner. Okay, see, I told you. I told you, these guys are easily able to come back at any given time. And now they take the lead. At the end of the first half, the score is 49 to 46. I'm not gonna lie, I'm a bit disappointed in myself. I didn't score a single point in the second quarter. Danny Green, please chill. Thank God that didn't go in. That was rebound number 10. Move out my way. Bam! Stop playing with me. A couple minutes later, I went back to the bench. Philly has a two point lead, but I'm not worried about it. Let's sim to our next appearance, oh my goodness. Ever since I sat down, we didn't score a single point. The Philadelphia 76ers went on a 13 and nothing run. And when I checked back into the game, it was all Philly. We were out here looking dumber than a bucket of shrimp. Joel Embiid, I feel like was the X factor. You got Danny Green shooting lights out. This was just impossible for us. Game number two, we're gonna come out here and take a fat L. And just like that, the series is now tied up. I did really good. I had 39 points, 14 rebounds, 12 assists. What changed it all was that third quarter performance when I sat out and they went on a 13 to nothing run. That changed everything. My teammate grade luckily was able to stay the same. We're sitting at a 97.1. Now I did shoot terribly from a three point line. You guys see 31.6%, that has to change for the next game. And as you see the Warriors actually beat the Lakers. Utah tied things up with Denver and you got Miami with a one to nothing lead against the Celtics. That's crazy, like the best outcome will be for the Warriors to advance. I feel like I'd rather face them than the Lakers. For the next game, you know, it's a must win for us. I feel like game number three, so I decided to bust out the OG Chicago ones. Let's see how this game is about to go. I need some prayers in the chat. I need some prayers for sure. Let's go ahead and jump right into this game. We're in the first quarter at the seven minute mark. I hope you guys are all enjoying this video so far. Zach Levine gets a steal. I'm gonna pull up for the green light. It's gonna be nothing but net. We're in Philly for the first time and I got Steph Curry's brother, Seth, 
playing Twister right now. I got all of Chicago's points. Seth, we're going to get past them. And we're going to dunk on Embiid. Get big, my guy. Even though he's big. Pause. We're going to drop a three-pointer on the other way. Another three-pointer here. Dude, we got all of Chicago's points. At the end of the first quarter, the score was 20-19. to 19. We got to keep it going here in the second quarter. Step back three. That is cash. Nothing but net again. 24 to 24. I haven't sat out yet. Coach has not given me any rest so far in this game. I played the entire first quarter, and here I am starting the second quarter. I need some rest, Coach. I'm doing everything right now. We're still in this game. We haven't sat out yet. The score is 27 to 27. Give me another green release. Finally, Coach decided to take me out at the three-minute mark of the second quarter. And as you guys see, the score is 35 to 33. I just want to make sure we don't blow this lead. And as you guys see, Philly is going to have a six-point advantage going into the locker room. It could have been worse, you know. We could have been down by 20. I'll take a six-point deficit. I'll easily be able to make this comeback here. 50 to 46. I'm attacking the paint, doing a little Euro step. I'm telling you, your boy just does it all. Embiid, look at us double teaming him. But that's going to leave a man wide open. Luckily for us, they missed though. Let's speed up the tempo. I got you. Today is young. Today is young. Let's go. We got 42 points, one rebound, two assists in this game. I changed up my mentality for this one. Usually I come out, try to get a triple-double, try to feed all my teammates. But for this game right here, it's a must-win situation. So I had to come out here and straight up take over. At the end of the third quarter, you guys see the score is tied up. Coach is going to give me some rest to start the fourth quarter. Now, I'm kind of nervous. I don't like seeing this. Every time I sit out, I feel like we get humiliated but as you guys see right here zach levine and kobe white they're taking over we got an 11 point lead 14 point lead now somebody pinch me is this really happening i'm checking back into the game the score is 81 to 66 no way this happened i'm actually super shocked we got this lead right now i mean the game is basically over unless they make like a miraculous comeback it feels good to know that my teammates got my back and I got theirs. That is going to be the icing on the cake. Hey, yo, what a day it has been. You know what? Let me get my boy Lori right here and assist. A little bounce pass. And that is officially gonna be it. We came here in Philly with the series tied, but now we got the advantage once again, and I'm not done. Logo Toe. Yes, sir, you can call me Logo Toe. Dude, I don't even know how I made that. I really do not know how we were able to make that shot, but all I know is, we got the dub that we really needed. And I finished this game with 53 points. Let's see where our teammate grade is going to go. From 97.1. Okay. I'll take that. 97.3. I'm also going to show you guys the incentives. Because right here, you guys are going to see the difficulty multiplier. 1.6. Which means I'm playing on Hall of Fame. You know, I had to show you guys because... I know you just saw me make that logo three and people are going to be like, oh, Octo's playing on goofball difficulty. Well, there you have it. Fam, I shot 52% in that game. From the three-point line, we shot 45%. That is so much better than the last game. No way. How is this real? Golden State is up two to nothing. Utah got back-to-back -back wins. They're up two to one. Miami... It looks like they're about to sweep the Celtics. We'll see what happens with that matchup. But right now, I got to see what is going on with Golden State. Is Clay back? 
Is he healthy in this game? So they got Steph Curry just straight up going off. James Wiseman is doing his thing. They have Buddy Heald, which they traded for Draymond Green earlier in the season. Andrew Wiggins is there. Klay Thompson is healthy. Hey, yo. Imagine if they sweep LeBron. This is going to be a matchup to keep an eye out on. Imagine if we end up like somehow, someway playing against these guys in the finals. We'll see what happens. We still got a long way to go. But for now, this episode has come to an end. I truly hope you guys enjoyed it. I just want to say thank you so much for all the support. Continue being amazing people. I'm going to see you guys on the next one.